so again <laughs> these messages are funny because I'm like relating them to each other and how we were we're creating and then we're cooking and cleaning and then we're cooking something really cooking something up and today something is stirring something is stirring inside of you that you just um, you may not quite know exactly what it is but you can feel that energy oh it's so intense and remember we have that full moon in just a couple of days on Sunday the 13th and so this feeling just feels like it's growing stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and your mind is reeling all over the place like trying to figure out what exactly is this feeling about what is it that's stirring and spirit says to me right away it's life changing suddenly you might even take a new direction or change your direction let me just say it's well yes <laughs> changing your direction going in a different direction making a twist and turn and on the path that you're on you're still on that path I want you to remember you're still going to the same thing but you feel a very strong sense of calling towards something and I feel like it's really hard for us to figure out exactly what it is yet but as that feeling grows stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and we keep trying to search for whatever that is boom just like that it dawns on us maybe it's something someone says during the day maybe you see a sign like a billboard or something or just a sign somewhere out you read a quote or you see some sort of post or watch some sort of video or get something from a movie there's something that triggers and you're like boom just like that you know you know what it is with every part of your being here come the goosebumps you know that's what it is so be ready for that and what I've learned over the years the course of my life is not to try to push it too hard one great thing <laughs> guess where I'm going with this one great thing to do when you feel something really intense and strong inside of you and you're having some struggle trying to figure out what exactly that is can you guess what I'm gonna say can you I think a lot of you know are you ready or let's say it together meditation oh no I didn't go there did I yes I did see you know a few people have not been meditating now you're like forced to be like oh crap now I gotta figure out how to meditate <laughs> so let's do that real quick let's go through a very quick easy way to meditate a lot of people get this so twisted and so wrong they think that meditation is emptying the mind let me tell you that's impossible you not this is not made to be emptied this is your control center it needs all the information that you can fit into it it needs all of that you know it, it, it's not meant to be empty let's just say that so what it does though meditation is about focusing on one thing at a time so that we're not focusing on everything all at once you know your browser with a hundred tabs open we're going to close all those tabs and just open one tab that's an easy way to think about it right so there's many different ways I do a chakra meditation where I imagine my chakras and so you know the the crown chakra is white and there's a color associated with every one of them. The first one is white and then purple and we got blue. Da 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 da. Look those up. I'm not going to go through all of them right now. But so I imagine a white ball of light hovering over my head. And I see that white ball of light and then I make it do something like spin or glow even more. Right? When I'm comfortable with that ball spinning, then I'm going to move to my next one. And that one's purple and I'm going to see a purple ball of light right here. Then I'm going to watch that purple ball of light and I'm going to make sure it's nice and purple. Then I'm going to imagine it spinning or glowing brighter. Right? Then I'm going, once I'm comfortable with that, I'm going to move down to the next one, which is blue. Then we're going to just continue moving down our body and then we're going to go back up again and then back down. 
until I feel like I've meditated enough. And what it does is I can't focus on everything else, all my other browser tabs, if I'm trying to make these balls of light do things. So I have to focus only on this. And while you're focusing only on this, these one things, this one task of making all these balls light up and glow or spin, other thoughts may come in. Don't let that stop you. Have that thought. See it, feel it, touch it, understand it. Let it go and go back to your balls of light. Another way, if you can't imagine balls of light, is numbers. So I'm going to see a number one. I'm going to make it a color. So let's make a red number one. doesn't matter what color it is. We'll make it bigger than life and make it 3D. I'm going to walk all around the different sides of that big number, red number one, and I'm going to see the texture on it. Is it smooth? Is it bumpy? What does it look like? And we'll see all the curves and edges of that number one. When I'm comfortable with that number one, I'm going to go to a number two. I'm going to make it a color. And I'm going to do the same thing with it. So you see, while you're focusing on that one task, you can't focus on a bazillion other things. And thoughts, like I said, will come in and out. Let them come in. Recognize them. See them. And then let them go and go back to your numbers or back to your balls of light or whatever it may be. That, my friends, is meditation. And the more you practice that, the better you're going to feel. You'll feel it, your whole mind, body, and spirit. Feeling a lot more energized. You'll have a lot more clarity and thought. You'll be able to sleep better. There'll be a lot of things you can do a lot better. I promise. Have a great day, everyone. And remember, you have the power to create the life you've always dreamed of. Mm -hmm, you sure do. Get outside, touch the earth, cleanse your space, do your meditations. Remember that this way, the wolf, the raven, and spirit, we are sending you unconditional love. Mwah.